Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Northwest Model Hobby Expo in Monroe, Washington. And I'm talking to Dave Mathewson, who is the Executive Director of the Academy of Model Aeronautics. How are you doing, Dave? Doing great. How about you, Patrick? I'm doing real well. And I was excited to see you and Rich Hansen, the new president, come up all the way over here to Washington State to be part of this. Yeah, you know, this is our first time up here in the Northwest, first time at the Expo. It's been a great weekend. We talked to a lot of members about model aviation in this part of the country and how it's evolving. You know, there's a lot of, for instance, multi-rotor exhibits here this year. It's, it's certainly a growing technology throughout the country, and it seems to be growing exponentially here up in the Northwest. Any specific programs relative to drones you're looking to launch? I'm pretty proud of our UAS for STEM program. If we made one mistake, we underestimated the interest that, that our membership was going to take. And kids learn. It's a high school level, college level program where kids actually learn about the technology because they have to build a quadcopter. They have to learn how to fly it, even without stabilization. And then there's a assigned task, and, and we did six regional competitions, I think, last year. And those that, that won the regional competitions were brought to Muncie. And what I noticed were they were all brilliant kids. It's just refreshing to see that interest that the technology brings to that, that, that level of student and community. Yesterday we had a meeting for District 11, which is the district that covers the Pacific Northwest here, and you announced a few new programs there, including y.ama.org slash drones. What's that about? So we've created programs like this, and of course, Know Before You Fly, which is really intended to educate the community and help them fly safely, responsibly, integrate into the airspace, and it seems to be working. You know, we've had good success with Know Before You Fly, and we expect the same type of success with this program as well. You talked about a new program called an event manager, which is kind of like a contest director. What's happening there? It focuses more on safety issues as opposed to competition rules. It's an open book test. Even I could pass it. And we think, you know, especially with the multi-rotor community, we're, we're beginning to sanction a fair number of FPV racing. It's not realistic to think that somebody that's organizing a, a racing event needs to know about control line rules, for instance. We've created the program that allows these folks to become event managers, be able to host the event, and be able to do it safely. I myself am a contest director. Do I need to go to the website and change my affiliation to be an event manager? How does that work? No, you don't actually. Contest directors will continue to have all the authority that they've had over, over sanctioned events, including uh, non-competition rule of events. You've recently stepped up to become a Roswell Flight Test Crew sponsor, and we are deeply honored by that, and I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for doing that. Well, I think we should be thanking you because, uh, you know, we see this as a huge opportunity uh, to work together and I keep going back to safe, responsible operations because I think that's what it's all about. And I know how strongly you feel about that, and Roswell does, so some real benefits to, to both uh, AMA and to Roswell Flight Test Crew. Oh, I certainly agree. Well, Dave, thank you so much. Real pleasure. Thank you. All right, and from the Northwest Model Hobby Expo in beautiful Monroe, Washington, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Dave. All right. Hey, thank you.